So I feel like that's kind of well defended for now. Let's go out there and start getting some... Oh, Jesus Christ almighty! Giant fat flying bird who apparently drops fire on everything after it dies. But the bullet hides are doing a really good job. Oh, that's very good. What is going God? Everybody, welcome to Toot and Tail. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. I'm honestly a little bit disappointed in myself for checking this out so late because this came out last year, and honestly, I had my hands on this earlier in the year last year, but unfortunately, back then, the only thing available was the multiplayer scrimmage, and I'm not really too big on multiplayer gaming, so I decided to hold off. The game finally came out, but when it did come out, I kind of lost track of it, so I'm here checking it out till now. But that being said, the full story single player campaign is available, and I hear amazing things about this game. This is uh, going to be an RTS game with a really, really cool, awesome pixel look to it for one. And more importantly, this is from the same makers of Monaco. And Monaco, along with like FTL, Risk of Rain, Spelunky, were kind of like my really big introductions to indie gaming, so I really hold it dear for myself. So I'm curious about this one, I'm excited about this one too. So let's go ahead and here and check it out. If you want to see a bit more of this in the channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up and we might check out more of it going down the line. Otherwise, all the information in the description will tell you how to pick this up for yourself if it's something you enjoy. I told my son, we won't work the farms. No. We won't eat the food of beasts. We'll eat meat as any civilized animal does. But when the civilized called a harvest and the city feasted on my boy, we took to the warriors and lit the country aflame. Who decides the fate of animals? The long coats? The common folk? The KSR? Or the civilized? Whoever triumphs will go hungry no more. Those who fall will be dinner. Yeah, so that is what you call an amazing cutscene right there, an introduction to the game. Alrighty, so the civilized are fat from the feast. Now is our chance, WAZ, to move around. So this will be like our, our main commander for this little setup here. I guess this will be the tutorial. Rally the army with right click. Got it, buddy. And click to advance him. Off you go, do your thing. So I got a bunch of squirrels shooting down. Not sure what those guys are. Oh, they're the little, like, little geckos if I'm right. Or chameleons, maybe? Chameleons? Eh, you know. It's a lizard of some kind. I got cute little squirrels. Those dudes have dynamite on their back, though. That's pretty baller right there. They're basically kamikaze themselves on you. That's amazing. Uh, Brothers Dixon warns to bring in reinforcements. Oh my goodness, God. Is that a ferret? Or a ferret? Might be a ferret with, like, uh, a cannon on his back. Advance on those bullet hives. Alrighty. So everybody come on here near to me. Oh, yep. The ferrets apparently just smoke those um, bullet hives from afar. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. See, I played a little bit of the multiplayer scrimmage, but um, I, it was like in... Just like free-for-all maps. So this is completely... Okay, this is completely new to me right now. So those are smoke now. Perfect. Air units incoming. Fall back behind our defenses. Okay. Rally back over here, gentlemen. Oh, you... Oh, no, those are birds being lit up. Okay, how do I get birds in my team? If those are especially falcons, I'm gonna be a little bit salty about what just happened right now. If I rally a while next to an enemy, my en my army will focus on it. Ice. So rally next to an enemy, focus, got it. Let's go, guys. I think we are... I must stand next to the bullet hives to hold a rally. Alrighty. Got him. Kind of puts me in danger too, but so be it. It's, trying, it's time to bring in the big guns. Who are the big... Oh my god, is that freaking Rocksteady? Oh, no, no, it's Bebop. No way. Anyway, Bebop is the, the Warthog, Rocksteady's the Rhino. I guess you would be Bebop after all. Although you got a bit of a Rocksteady look to you too. Either way, you got a flamethrower, I think? That should be pretty cool. So five structures that I'm looking for. Nah, that didn't last too long. <laughs> Not long at all. There's the other one. Oh my god, who's this guy? I need to figure out what all these animals are right now. Rally closer, men. The old thing. I mean, I guess I could get next to them too. I'm scared of getting lit up though, you know? Like, but I guess you regain energy after a while, so it's not a bad thing. There you go. What about this? Oh my god, flames everywhere. Is, is that you doing that, Bebop? I guess it might be. Over here, gentlemen. Come on. 
And more birds that I have to smoke, unfortunately. A lot of my squirrels did go down already. I guess the squirrels are kind of like the the grunts, you know, get in the front line, get wrecked. We are still missing one structure. Is that this? The Grismo itself? I guess so. Alrighty, do your thing. Got the heroic one too. Alrighty. Alrighty, so I guess this right here is going to be like our, our hub between missions and stuff like that. So let's actually inspect this sound. Sleep well, my child. I promise you the civilized shall feast on innocence no more. Right. So that's the sun that unfortunately got gobbled up in the last feasting. Little squirrel, what's up with you? Hey, a boss. Glad you weren't hurt out there. The bone pit rides were just the beginning, Vash. We may have driven off Archimedes for now, but he'll soon return. And when he does, some of us will see the wrong end of his feasting table. Ooh. A long coat's ode to freedom, to wealth, in a state of nature, long coats rise. All right. They took him last feasting day, a mere morsel of a boy. Cool. All right, well, let's actually see if we could um, trigger another mission for now. Hey, boss. We're doing this like you said, planning for the long haul. Turns out after your little stunt on the bone pits, Archimedes reached out to his old comrades in the KSR. Now he's got Grismills churning out meat and black sledge, and the quartermaster's got her KSR goons keeping watch. The civilized. They're building up their larders, raising an army. But we have a surprise for them, yes? Just like you said, boss. We got tunnels running all the way out there. We'll take out the civilized Grismills and be back here in time for Cheskers. Alright, so we have another mission now. Destroy the enemy gristmills, and the heroic ones will be Build Eight Warrens. In the hardest of times, loyalty isn't earned, it's bought. Under the KSR's nose, Bellified gathers his army of paid insurgents. And for this one, we're going to have the Distillery Brothers, which happens to be the squirrels. Look at those guys right there. That's so baller. That's so baller. The Distillery Brothers, and he's drunk out of his mind. I love it. And apparently the, the ferrets as well. The Freight Unit. All right. Let's, uh, let's uh, go, apparently. Tactics will be necessary here. So we have to build eight warrens, and we build those with space, right? Automatic recruit units, got it. And... There we go. So now we have squirrels and the ferrets being spawned. And it does seem that the ferrets do cost a bit more, so there is that. That'll be 60, while the ferrets is 120, and I guess our food will dictate how many of these we can put down. So we are looking to build eight for the heroic one. So before we even roll out, I think we should probably get these barons up and running. So my, my little piggies over here need to actually bring that food in a bit faster. Boom. Boom. Alright, we got the heroic one. Let's go. This should be more than enough, I'm gonna say. Oh boy. Alright, so the Falcon dude went down. Let's see this mission hit. Select ferrets and use the rally group button to blast turrets from the distance. To counter Falcon, select squirrels and use the rally group to pick them out. Oh, okay, so the squirrels would be better for the Falcons. There are Falcons after all. Oh my god, I'm bringing my own kind down. I'm a stinking rat after all. Alright, I see another one over there. So let's see about this. Advance men. And do your thing. Perfect. Alright. Another one over here, too. That's right, light me up. Don't go after the squirrels, just light me up. I'll regain HP anyway. Are we being attacked back over here? Oh, yeah, we are. All right, they're setting up one of their own little, like, um, bullet hives, too. But our ferret should be able to absolutely take care of that. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> got lit up by the pigs. Take care of those pigs. There you go. Good job, ferret bros. Oh, those pigs don't even know what's happening to them right now. There's another bullet hive up there, though, so we gotta be careful with that one. But if we bring this from afar, I think we should be fine. They can't even reach us. Yeah, buddy! So one's down. I don't think we even have to technically bring this down, but I kind of want to, you know, just bragging rights. Bring the entire army down if we can. And since we have a lot of food now, I think we should probably go back and make a couple more of the ferret bros. Not that I really have to. But if I can, you know, why not? Oh, you're not going to let me build anymore. Ah, oh, that's it. Never mind, I guess after 8, it's kind of like, yeah, that's all you need. You don't need any more. Fine. I just wanted to completely overrun these guys if I could. 
All right. This dude up here is kind of lighting us up, so can we... Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, that was it. All right. See, that's not enough for me. I like to make sure I wipe everything off of the map. You know, like, if I'm going to beat somebody, it's like it's got to be a complete wipeout. Leave nobody standing. But apparently some of them did stay standing, which I'm not too happy about, but whatever. We got it done. What else is there? So I guess the missions will be the exclamation marks if I had to imagine. Sup, squirrel man? Hey, boss. We uh, we have a bit of a problem. What kind of a problem? So uh, some of my brothers were working the mills down by the docks. You see, they mentioned seeing a yellow cloak or two, but I thought nothing of it. But now we're not getting any reports back from the docks. I think the civilized are making their move. And then so too must the long coats prepare our bullet hives. We must defend the docks. All right, so now I guess we're going to be learning about the bullet hives, huh? All right, so for the 46 out dock side, Bellified's rides will never spark into revolution without food. Your grist mills in south dock side are converting grain into meat for the cause. You must defend them. So I guess we're going to be doing a defensive mission this time around, huh? With the old bullet hives. Finish with 16 farms and defend the grist mill. All right. What's the mission hint this time? Build farms around your grist mill to make food. Remember to build turrets before the enemy launches their attack. All right. Alrighty, so let's see here. An army needs food, we should start by building farms. You got it. Okay, we can burrow. Oh, sweet, so I could burrow underground? Oh, and there's another one over to the... Oh, I see. So if I burrow down to here... Aha! Uh -huh. How about that? So there's another one up here, too. So we do have nine farms with this bad boy up here. I see. Uh, let's build some bullet hives meanwhile, then, so I can protect you guys, too, if I can. Maybe another one through here. Another one through here. And let's go back into burrow mode if we can. And go back to the one that's not really as defended. Here we go. Farm. 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 Okay. I need to get a bullet hive over here for this guy who's apparently trying to intimidate us right now like the scumbag that he is. Luckily this is water area, so unless they have like flyers, we should be okay. I think we just have to protect like this perimeter for now. I mean, if my bullet hives were up, oh, we're being attacked now by the dynamite dudes. Freaking suiciding mice. Farm. I guess we'll queue that up. All right, we got him before he got close to us. Great. So I have to defend the... Okay, I see. So I just got to defend it for a minute and 40 seconds. I see what you're saying. This will be the last farm here. Okay. We have 16 of 16 farms. All we have to do now is make sure that we defend them and that the suiciders don't get to me. We have like a really good setup over here because this water slows them quite a bit. Oh, they have their own farm over here too. How about that? Now, can we be attacked from back over here? I'll set one up just in case. I feel like we probably won't though. Another but I have to here. Okay, so we're being attacked from here moment or at least for the most part. But let's find out about the other one up there too, which doesn't really have as many defenses, but it seems like it's holding up just fine. Build one over through here. You're covered through there. Okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. And can I burrow from any... Oh, anywhere. Oh, we're being attacked under now. Okay. Ooh. Oh. All right, now we're being rushed completely. My farms are still up. My grist mill's fine. Yeah, we got this. Plus, we have a bunch of food being generated from all the farms, so... <laughs> like, this this line of, like, bullet hives here alone is more than enough that we do need. Let me even set one up over here if we can. Because why not? Oh, yeah, we have some... Oh, we have a cobra spitting poison at us over here. I don't even know how you poison a bullet hive, but... All right. If you say so, buddy. Somebody bring that freaking poison cobra down. Got it. Yeah, I'm not even sure how that cobra is able to poison bullet hives. I mean, I guess maybe it's poisoning the people inside of the bullet hives commandeering it. Maybe. I thought it was just kind of like, you know, automatically manned or something. So we got that one with the heroic one too. Perfect. Let's see. What else is available here? Uh, <laughs> this guy's just in the restroom over here. What are you doing breaking that toilet, buddy? 
a couple of piggies. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw another mission down through here. I love that there's like so much to interact with, and I would interact with this stuff, but I'm pretty sure you guys want to see like the missions weren't anything, so I'm rushing a bit more. But honestly, there's a lot to interact with over here. It's kind of cool. Let me check this out really quickly. I'll check in our weapons catch later. Okay. Let's go ahead and hang out with uh, Bebop now. I have a new idea for a main course, Bellified. Enough to clear our plates. When the civilized built their grist mills outside the city, they did so on my family's land. My brother thinks it's time we took it back. Pay him well and he'll burn the civilized grist mills to ash. This coop is nearly over. This is no coop, Unk. I don't care who stands atop in the end. The longcoats will cease power. That seems a natural consequence of revolution. But I, what, what I want most is to see Archimedes kicking and screaming as he's dragged atop the longcoats feasting table. Now you know. Day to sun. I respect that. Um, fuel of the firebrand. The harvest is healthy and the longcoats are now poised to purge the civilized from the city. Recruit Butter's brother and burn the civilized army to ash. So that would be the bebop dude we saw from the tutorial, right? Alrighty, so let's see here. Claim six gristmills, destroy the enemy gristmills, and we have to recruit you guys as well. It would be 180 for him, 20 for Squirrel Man, and 60 for that one. We could also set up our own recruitment centers too. But I guess meanwhile, this would be like the cheaper alternative just to have somebody to kind of watch my back meanwhile. So we are all the way down here on the bottom portion of the map, so we don't have to worry about being attacked from this side, which is great. We kind of built a couple of um, bullet hives. Oh wow, this is actually a really well protected area. So maybe we put the bullet hives. Wow. Yeah, they have to come from the mountain side, so that's not too bad. So he's already scoping out my area. Let me put this other farm from here now. I can't afford... I'm not trying to recruit, I'm trying to set up a farm. There you go. Oh, and there's another Grisma right here. So let's claim... Oh no, it's being shot by this scumbag as I'm building it. Um, we need this ferret. Come, both of you. Bring that bullet hive down if you don't mind. Ferret man. Look, he's keeping my dude from being built. What a scum. Got him. Alrighty. Build that farm. Build that farm. Build that farm. Let's keep a couple of food here available for the bullet hives, though. Is that on fire already from that guy shooting it up? I feel like it is. Maybe the, the piggies will show up and fix it pretty soon, though. Now, bullet hives. Let's set up a couple here. Maybe not over here. You being on fire really worries me a lot. Can I fix you somehow? Is it like a... I mean, you're still generating stuff, right? Alright, pigs, you better fix that. I'm not sure if you can't fix it or not, but I'm, I'm relying on you to kind of dim the flames here a little bit. Alright, so let's set up a bullet hive here if we can. And... Let's see. Maybe... That's a fence over here, so I don't have to worry too much about that. And what's behind me? Nothing else. Alright, good. So all we have to do really do is just a fend from this side. And through here. Let's see about... Oh, there they come. Oh, if my bullet hives were up and running, it would have been good. Gonna lit that guy up pretty well. Alrighty, so now all we're looking for is a bit more farm. Some more food. And let's start setting up a couple of recruits as well. Let's set these guys up, like, back over here. So I'll set one of you. Probably can't put down the Bebop just yet. Let me do... Can't afford Ferret, bro? No? There you go. And I guess we'll recruit Bebop right afterwards, once we're at 180, which should be kind of soon. Those farms should be up and running. Let me get... Bebop. And just light this dude up. Excellent. And here's my bullet hives. Let's set a couple more through here. And through here. Alright. So I feel like that's kind of well defended for now. Let's go out there and start getting some... Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Giant fat flying bird. Who apparently drops fire on everything after it dies. But the bullet hives are doing a really good job. Oh, that's very good. So we just fended off that raid pretty well. Um, Let's do... Another one of you. And I feel like we need more squirrel bros too. Just for grunts to kind of eat it up front. So we'll do that. And let me get one more ferret if we can, too. Alrighty, let's go. Let's actually get our attacks on, too. He's down. There we go. 
Alright, light this one up. There's their first Grismo up here, I'm gonna say. Squirrel man, careful. You're getting too close to the action. Okay, whoever's been spawned back home, come on down over here. Oh, Fat Bird's here again. Okay, don't let the, the, the mice blow up on you. Light them all up, please. That's okay, that's okay. If they get by, the Bullet Hive should be able to deal with them. Let's just make sure we bring this Grismill down right now. Excellent. And here we go. Let him run by. The Bullet Hives will get him. Dunsky. Oh, is that it? No, it's not it. Okay. There's still a couple more of their Grismills, obviously. Bullet Hive should kill that guy. So now we can claim this one for my own. Or at least I was in the process of doing that before it got lit up by these dudes over here, of course. Got him. Now burn it up. I'll claim this one. We have a ton of food right now, so we should be able to set up a couple of bullet hives through here as well. Because they're running from this side now. Oh, that's their territory? I guess until we claim this one, it's going to be their territory still, huh? Alrighty. My farms have gone. You guys will be fine over there for now, right? My troops are under attack, and they should be able to hold it off, though. We have a lot of them back over here. All right, so here it is. This is up and running now. Build a farm. Build farms. And this will just double up our intake of everything coming in. This is now our area. And let's go ahead and do the bullet hives through all this. And they even have this set up over here. I want that bunker down as soon as possible. And also bring down that bullet hive over here. That's what's up. Hoo hoo. Bullet hive's up and running too. Yeah, I know. We're wasting a lot of food right now, but that's okay. It'll it'll even out. Their nest gristmill seems to be up here. That guy, that rat's just getting lit up from all sorts of locations back down there. All right, let's push forward, man. A couple more bullet hives over here. I want to get a couple more furrets up above, maybe even recruit a bit more. Alright, food's fine. That should be the next Grismore now going down. Oh, we got it! Oh man, I didn't get the other one's, um, claim before I brought him down. I was thinking there was like maybe at least two, or at least three Grismores I had to take care of, but it was only two. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate. I kind of wanted that heroic one too. Yeah, well, so be it. I'm actually really enjoying this a lot, man. I'm total sucker for all the chaos and anarchy and things on fire and blood over the place. This is fairly cool. Well, this is going to be Toot and Tail. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the information will be down below. If you want me to continue playing this a bit more on the channel, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. We might check out more of this. Otherwise, the link down below in the description will tell you how to pick this up for yourself. What's the next thing I got to do here, I'm wondering? Before we run off, what's the next thing I have to do? Oh, this opened up now. This was closed before, maybe? Yep, we got a mission with Mr. Pig over here. Oh my god, we got a little bit of mutiny in the booty. Well... As I mentioned, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.